the discussion came up about profanity in the workplace. And so I'd like to touch on um, just what that means to your career. I know that many people use profanity in the workplace, managers, directors, vice presidents, subordinates, colleagues, from the rooter to the tutor, they use openly and comfortably um, profanity in the workplace. And here's what I have to say about that. Let's just go back to under, let's consider what the business itself is modeled after. And since the beginning of time, the business has always been modeled after the church. And the church is something that is modeled after the heart of Christ. And so it is his desire that we um, submit to authority, number one. It is his desire that we um, operate in decency and order. It is his desire further that we do all things in the spirit of excellence and that we use language that is seasoned and graceful. And so if the business is modeled, if businesses, corporations, organizations, companies, etc., are modeled after the church, which are modeled after the heart of Christ, then that should give us some guidance as to what is acceptable and what is not. Now, we all know that in order to advance ourselves in, in our careers, it is very important that we pay attention to our presentation. Our presentation is combined of mind, body, and spirit initiatives. And so, um, as we prepare our mind, body, and spirit for success, uh, we ought to consider the tongue, consider our language, and consider how it draws a picture of us, who we are as a person, as a professional, and whether or not we fit into um, a career path that excels us into newer and higher levels of success. To whom much is given, much is also required. We must remember that. So from my heart to your heart, um, I, I hope to speak to you, mind, body, and spirit, and I hope that you're able to receive uh, this good news because this is the truth, and the truth is the good news, which is the gospel, and that is this. Present yourself in decency and order and in the spirit of excellence and in so doing that means that from head to toe from the inner to the outer you should be professional you should be in decency and order and they should see when people see you and encounter you they should see the spirit of excellence all over you they may not know exactly what is so special about you but they cannot deny that that special exists and so what you wear matters you can't just go into the workplace any kind of way. You need to be neat, clean, and um, <clears throat> as polished and professional as possible. When you go into the workplace further, um, you need to have a mindset of excellence. And that may mean that no matter what you're going through in your personal life um, or on the job in and of itself, that is negative and spiritually debilitating and demotivating and stressful. Everybody has their stuff, but we've got to manage our stuff. So that means that, you know, if things get so rough where you can't tuck yourself in and get it together, um, and then your attitude begins to shift and change and um, your pattern of reliability begins to suffer, um, where you're coming in late, leaving early, calling out, you know, randomly unplanned vacation days, just um, know that people pay attention to that and they begin to take note of it and they begin to judge you and put you in a box. And you never want to be taken outside of the box that allows you to advance. You see, um, everything matters towards your advancement on the spiritual plane as well as here on the earth dome. Everything that you do, good and positive and great, uh, goes into a bank, okay? A memory bank here on the Earth Dome for those who witness your behavior and your, your activities. And a spiritual bank for the angels um, to keep record and give these things to the Lord. Um, so it's important that you carry yourself in a spirit of excellence, modeled after the heart of Christ. Um, 
And so back to profanity in the workplace. Um, that there's nothing professional. Professional. There's nothing professional. <laughs> I did it again. There's nothing. Let's make up a new word. There's no, nothing professional. Nothing professional about using profanity. It is not sweet. It is not soothing. It is not satisfying. It is not healing. It is not productive. It is not beneficial. It doesn't bless your life. It doesn't bless the ears of those who receive it. Um, it's offensive and it can be used against you. So we want to eliminate things in the workplace that can be used against you. So if you are using it, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Pay attention and try to eliminate those kind of discussions and conversations. And try not to spend too much time with people who do it. And, and be open about it. You know, I just, I've had a second thought about that kind of dialogue and I just don't want to participate in it. No one should be cursing at you rather in casual conversation or if the conversation becomes different. And here's the thing, here's the danger zone. When you do it casually with someone in the workplace and then <clears throat> tension comes one day, stress comes one day, or suddenly you're in a place where um, the conversation is very different. They're very comfortable with talking to you like that and then it's not going to feel good. And then it's going to kind of escalate where it should not be. So it should never be used. I don't care with whom or what it's about. Profanity is a no-no in the workplace. So be sure to carry yourself a certain way, you know, um, great posture. If someone comes into your area, whether it be an office, an office space, or a workstation, make sure that your posture is always of, of good countenance, okay? Your spirit stands up and erect and that um, you smile and greet people, be polite, be courteous, be helpful. Be willing and ready to assist. Try not to be lazy or deny assistance to your coworkers, your colleagues, uh, managers, whomever. Always help upward and downward. If someone's position is a lesser position than yours in terms of levels or um, salary, still be willing to respect them and support them and show them um, what excellence is and what it does. It is very valuable. Excellence is valuable. Make sure you uh, receive that in your spirit and you begin to walk in it. If by some chance you have not been doing that, change and change today. Allow this message to penetrate your mind, body, and spirit and make a difference in your life. And you know, as always, once you make up your mind, where the mind goes, the body follows. So if you make up your mind, I'm walking into the new me, into the new zone, into new levels, and 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 um, I want this thing to, to work from the inside out, it will. Where the mind goes, the body follows. And you can always ask spirit to intercede. Lord, help me to change. Help me to become more excellent. Help me to be better, greater. Begin to tame your tongue. Tame your delivery. Be seasoned and graceful in your delivery. Be professional. Be willing to help. Go above and beyond. And you will begin to experience blessings like never before. Excellence is beautiful. It's beneficial. It pays off. It can never hurt you. It can only help you. And remember, never compromise effectiveness, efficiency, professionalism. Never, ever compromise those things. Those are standards that you want to maintain as a person while in the workplace, while in the workplace, and while outside of it. Effectiveness, efficiency, and professionalism. Very important. And that comes across in what you wear, what you say, what you do, how you do it, how you walk, etc. Hold your head up high. Be willing and ready to smile and greet someone with uh, courtesy, respect, and the spirit of joy, okay? Because someone will need it. Just your very presence will begin to bless others and they'll begin to catch on. People admire excellence and then they begin to walk in it because they mimic that which is good and of great standard. 
You don't want to be something that someone talks about or complains about or wants to fire you because you failed to be excellent in your speech, your delivery, all right, or whatever. Polish your skills, be effective, be efficient, be on time, dress the part, walk the part, and make sure your words are seasoned and graceful. Thanks for listening. I'm Sonia Ward. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, go on and subscribe to my channel, and do share it with a friend.